Welcome guys to another analysis video. This one is going to be on Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP, S-H-O-P, trading at $46, down from $180, but it's had a huge run up. If I take the log off, you will see there's a Disney castle right there, which means it was in a short term bubble it's returning to some kind of a trend but that's not what we care about oh just before i go forward shout out to elaine rumi or it might be alan rumi but uh, this was a request follow him on trading view seems like a reasonable cat and if you have any request if you place a comment and give me a stock symbol i'm happy to do the analysis i'm always looking for new growth stock opportunities. So of course, I'm going to put it into my Excel spreadsheet. But let me show you where I got the data. If you go to seeking alpha, they will show you three years. If you scroll down, they'll show you three years of earnings per share EPS. And if you pay for the premium, which I happily do because it's not that expensive, especially when they do the black Friday sales, you get more data. So I actually punched in these numbers for EPS into my worksheet before I jump over, just showing you Shopify. It's an online commerce, it's Canadian. So if you wanna have an online store, you go to Shopify. That's what the business is. So let's jump over to my worksheet and Yellow means it's an input. I have two sections of inputs. I put in the price, I put in the earnings, but I also put them in, I think, I think there was nine years available. And I punched them in and I grew the rest at 15% because it seemed like a reasonable growth rate going forward. 30% is not what it actually comes out to, but I'm using that for the valuation and the green tells me the buy zone or what a fair peter lynch style valuation is or would be peg ratio means price to earning to growth one growth rate is this growth rate so if the pe at, at 30 will give me one price the pe at 60 growth rate will give me p peg two historical pe of 15 Typically, on average, over the past 100 years, 15 PE, most stocks, a stock that isn't growing, you know, a company that has issues, maybe debt or just wealth destruction, might only get 8.5 PE. A lot of mature companies might only get 8.5 PE. So that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in growth companies. If we find out what they're earning, which adds to the balance sheet. And then we, we give a terminal value, which is what we might sell out at, or it might be worth in 20 years. I do 20 years just to smooth it out longer. And then we discount backwards. So according to this, 20, uh, 10 years out, the, the price of shop can be anywhere between 95 and $380 which looks wonderful, but when you discount it back, and discounting means, hey, I gotta earn 10% because S&P 500 might give me that. So com uh, comparably, I need to make 10%. I'm taking risk. We discount back to the present value of earnings. I discounted all the, all the earnings and the terminal value, so it gives me a present value of earnings. It's not quite DCF because DCF is the free cash flow, but this is pretty accurate for my purposes. So I use it. 105 is what I'm getting. The, the idea is it should be worth 105 over many years. Does that mean it should be 105 today? No, it doesn't because it, because it has to materialize. What it should be worth today is what these green zones are. Now, if you look at Shopify, it only makes four cents per share. What would you pay for a company that 
earns four cents a share. Not a lot. Next year, they're expecting to grow or make 20 cents a share. What would you pay for a company earning 20 cents a share? Also not a lot. So if we just look at this year's earnings, we shouldn't be willing to pay very much. So in what are investors are looking forward and if those earnings pan out, that's why they're paying $47 a share right now. So for me, this is an expensive stock. If there is, if for whatever reason, there's a sell off in the market, cross your fingers. We, we are looking, this thing was 160 bucks. Isn't that insane? Obviously they had higher valuations, uh, a year and a half ago, but if it gets into the green zone, that's the, uh, you know, <laughs> that's the opportunity zone. If this, for whatever reason, I don't know what's going to happen, but if you wake me up and you tell me, Hey, people still expect good things, but the price is a lot cheaper then I'm willing to take a shot at it. Do I want to pay this? This value is like five years out. I want to, I don't want to pay full price. We're trying to imagine a tree in the future. I want to pay a good price for today, the seed price. I want to pay a good price for seeds that become trees. This is already like a seedling or a, you know, a, a small tree. This is, this is expensive. That's okay for some people because if it pans out, then you'll still get rewarded. If we look at present value of all these years, it's 105. So the size of the opportunity right here, I, I show 2.2. It's just my little dirty formula and discount to par over decades. It's like buying a dollar for 50 cents. If you're a big fan of, of a shop, you might be willing to buy it at this price because it used to be a lot higher. Me, for my rules, I would wait because if I buy today at 47, I'm paying a huge premium and I don't want to pay a huge premium because it adds risk. So I would want to buy in the green zone, you know, 2025. If, if we were in 2025, I'd pay 11 bucks. If we were in 2026, I'd pay 27. If I pay 47, I'm paying a premium and it makes it harder for me to break even. I don't make any real, real gains until the company grows into the valuation. Those are just my opinions. This is how I look at it. So I would wait. The size of the opportunity is a two bagger. I have other stocks on my radar that are like eight times, eight up, eights. 8.0 opportunities, which means there's a there's more juice, there's more meat on the bone. So this would be a premium. Uh, that's just what my worksheet says. If I'll show this example, obviously, like if I put in Apple, this is my baseline for everything, because uh, you know I started investing, you know, years ago, but Apple did fantastic. So I use that to back test and build my own model. So if I look at 2008, based on this model in 2008, Apple was at one point into this green zone and the size of the opportunity, because we have the actual results, was a 13, 13 present value. So these deals do happen. It's part of our reality. Apple went into the green zone and it was a huge, you know, it, it did 8x, 800% in eight years. It did 64x in 16 years. And that was only a 20%. So this does happen and recessions bring these opportunities. That's why I love recessions. When you hear recession, you need to think of opportunity. So Apple was, let's say $3. And obviously it's 160 170 right now so huge huge wins valuation worksheet definitely worked i'll show you real quick my current apple valuation shows there's not a lot of opportunity at least not not to beat the s p present value shows 158 apple's like 160 something right now so 
the opportunity is pretty flat. You'll still you'll still make money, but it'll you'll be it'll be more risk and uh, more time. So I'll leave Snap uh, Shop right there for those interested. And again, I'm giving away the worksheet. I give away. Um, in the comments, I provide a link. A lot uh, I've seen a few people take advantage of that. So uh, if you want to make your own worksheet, it'll just make you a better investor. It'll make you force it'll force yourself to look at companies that actually make money. There's a lot of companies that don't. And it will just give you a better vision of what it could look like. It'll help you to extend your holding time. If I look at the chart, the picture trader in me says that this doesn't look very good and maybe we will get an opportunity to buy this cheaper. You can call this a head and shoulders, a cup and handle, whatever you want to call it, just to get engaged. It, just, it also looks like ARC. If I jump over to ARC, same situation. ARC's $35. Will it get below that? I hope so. I look at the Russell. It looks like it's coming down. I'm using this chart because it looks better on when I screen record it. But hopefully we get a recession because there, too many stocks are expensive. If we get a recession, there are so many opportunities, so many trades that open up. And this is Shop, Shopify. If, if you have a, a good map, you'll make better decisions. And for our buddy, Alan, I hope this was helpful. Cheers.